Hey guys, Ty here, back with another video, and in this video, we are going to go over a replacement facial interface, and that is what it's called, for your Oculus Go. So, we've got the faceplate thing pulled out. Uh, here is the original, here is the replacement, and this is a replacement cover by a company called VRCovers.com, and they've been making these for a long time for like the Oculus Rift and the HTC Vive, the Samsung Gear VR, uh, so all the major VR headsets, you can get a replacement from them. And so you can just kind of see initially, just right off the bat, this one's super wobbly and it's not nearly as substantial as this. So it's it's a much beefier kind of a faceplate. It's more comfortable. And there's a couple of big advantages that this has over the original. So first, for me at least, is that I'm not a huge fan of the texture of this. It feels a little rough and sometimes it just feels rough on my skin. Um, I've always felt that this could be just a tiny bit more comfortable. I do like the softness of this, but just the, the texture, not a huge fan. Um, and this thing gets disgusting. I don't know if you've ever like taken a good look, if you're new to your go. Um, I recommend if you're gonna stick with the original, take it off, wash it with hot soap and water and you're gonna wring it out and you'll see when you wash it that this thing is like a sponge. Just It absorbs the water just like that. Um, and it gets really, really nasty. Uh, whereas this has like a fake leather, they call it a PU vegan leather. It's a polyurethane plastic, but it feels a lot like leather. And uh, it actually comes off, okay? So, and you don't even need to take this front part off right here. You can just wipe it down with an alcohol pad or even just a paper towel and some water and you're gonna be able to easily clean that off right there. Um, this is also more comfortable because it displaces the weight over a larger area on your face than this does uh, because the pads are just wider. If you look right here, you can kind of see how narrow it gets on the edge where this one's fairly fat right there. Uh, same thing kind of on the bottom, but especially around the sides up here whereas this is much wider all the way around it. Um, another problem I had with the Go, the original faceplate, is that I would get light, le light leakage, and I don't know if that was something that you might have experienced or are experiencing, but coming from the back, I'd be sitting on my couch, sun setting behind me, light just blasting through, and I would be getting light coming in. Now, it's not super, super bad, um, but I d discovered that if I put a little bit of foam in between this and the housing on the go, that that would stop it. Um, it works, That this little fix-it right here, works way better with this because this is just a much more rigid material. And when I pop these in, you can't even see it, and I'll show you in a second, and, and I just feel like I get a much better fit around my face. So I'm getting just a glove-like fit on my face. Now, one thing I didn't like when I first got it, and I thought for a second, I was like, crap, I'm gonna have to return these, um, is that this uh, edge right here was kind of digging into my cheek, and I was like, hmm. And I discovered this over at Reddit, and there's a Oculus Go subreddit, and everybody was like, these are the best things since sliced bread, gotta get one, and people were getting them, and they're like, I just got mine, it's so comfortable, I love it. Um, and I was like, okay, you know, how can nobody, and it's a super, super simple fix and I was just kind of dumb. So since this front part does come off, it was just shipped with this kind of weird. So I just pulled it off and moved it down just a little bit kind of out of the way. Boom, and that solved that problem. And now it is super comfortable. And you can actually move this around. There are five Velcro points inside of here. So you can adjust it to kind of get a perfect customized fit around your face. Um, so definitely more customizable than this, which there is no customization to that at all. Now the instructions, I came in the box and it also comes with a little microfiber cleaning cloth, tell you to pop off these eye rings right here. So these come off and they're meant to come off. Uh, and I didn't even actually realize that until I read the instructions here, which is nice, because then you can kind of get in and if any grime is getting in uh, underneath this, you can clean it off. But I found that when you're putting these things back on, you just, you can't help just to line up. You're gonna be pressing your fingers on the lenses and I try just to never touch the lenses. Uh, so just like you might put this back on after you've taken it off to clean it, do the same thing. It's quicker, I've tried both ways. You're just gonna stick the faceplate in like this and I always start on the inside. I find that's the best spot and just work your thumbs up and pop it into place uh, like that. Just make sure that it slides into place all the way around, flip it over and do the same thing on the other side. Now it's gonna require more force than when you do with this one right here because it's a much more 
thick material and it's not as stretchy as this is. So you do have to do that uh, with a little more oomph. And then to get the uh, center covered up, just go up at the top and that's all you need to do. And bam, perfectly installed, super, super comfortable. And if you are experiencing any sort of light bleed in the back like I was, just find some foam or something similar like that. And you're just gonna tuck it in between the plastic housing and the faceplate uh, like that. And I do it just far enough in that you can't see it. And I don't know if you can tell between one side and another, but this one is pushed in just enough that I'm getting a really good fit around my face and I get zero a light bleed. And once they're in place, you just forget about them that they're not even there. And it's just a very, very, very comfortable fit uh, right there. Uh, and it's pretty much identical as far as nose room goes. It doesn't change the amount of nose room um, and it doesn't change any light. So still get a tiny, tiny bit of light bleed, the same as I did with this coming in through the nose. It doesn't help or hurt it there, but it definitely can help with the light bleed coming from the side. Yeah, so all in all, I like these. I do have to say thanks to a VR Covers for sending me this to review. Uh, like I said, I discovered this over on Reddit and I was just gonna buy it, but I figured before I buy it, let me send them a quick email and see if they'd be interested in sending me one uh, to review and they were nice enough to do so, so thank you. Um, other than this, I'm not making any money off this. Uh, so yeah, I definitely do recommend it though. Get it, I would've paid for it. Um, so. Yeah, that's that. If you guys have any questions, anything like that, please always ask in the comments down below. Uh, let me know in the comments down below if uh, you like the original or if you have a better solution, a different cover, maybe I missed one out there. Um, give the video a thumbs up, please do subscribe, hit that bell button uh, if you like this stuff. I come out with videos like this fairly frequently. Uh, and that is it, I will see you guys in the next video.